25 he check Meyer's issues show Saban's greatness. Every time Urban Meyer fails at Ohio State, Nick Saban's consistency at Alabama looks more impressive. It's not about hating on Meyer or the Buckeyes. Just the opposite. Meyer is a demonstrably great coach, leading one of college football's elite programs. Three national titles, one with the Buckeyes, and a career-winning percentage of .847 put Meyer on the short list of best coaches. He has owned his school's rivalry games and even has split four meetings with Saban. But Meyer and Ohio State had a puzzling loss on Saturday against Iowa that dropped the Buckeyes, 7-2, eight spots to number 11 in the AP Top 25. With its 55-24 win, Iowa scored more points than any opponent ever has against one of Meyer's teams. For the second time in less than a year, Ohio State lost by 31 points. Buckeyes fans are now left asking, what's wrong with our team? What's up with Urban? These are the moments when it becomes clear how remarkable it is what Saban is doing with number one Alabama. While Meyer has faced a few mini crises throughout his time with Florida and Ohio State, Saban's machine never malfunctions. In the last 10 years, Saban and the Tide are 121-13 with four national titles. 2010 was the only year Alabama lost more than once in the regular season. Only four of those 13 losses were by more than one score, and none has been by more than 14 points. Put Meyer aside and think about the other top coaches in college football. Davo Swinney has made Clemson the closest thing to Alabama over the last three seasons, yet even the Tigers have lost a game to an unranked team in the last two years. Alabama has won 71 straight against unranked teams. Florida State's Jimbo Fisher is the only other active coach to win a national title. He currently is trying to salvage bowl eligibility in a lost season. Mark D'Antonio went 3-9 with Michigan State last season. Gary Patterson's TCU team was 6-7. Brian Kelly and Notre Dame went 4-8. Michigan's Jim Harbaugh has never won a conference title. Chris Peterson and Washington had a baffling loss to Arizona State last month. These things don't happen at Alabama. There are no bad losses. No season goes off the rails. That's why in a season, when the Crimson Tide have been short on marquee victories AP voters confidently put Alabama at number one, and why he check has no problem with it. Number one Alabama, 9-0, injuries at linebacker could test the depth of the nation's deepest roster. Next, at number 18 Mississippi State. He check, just right. Number 2 Georgia, 9-0, the plan for Bulldogs opponents is to make freshman QB Jake Fromm win the game. Nobody has been able to do it yet. Next, at number 10 Auburn. He check, just right. Number 3 Notre Dame, 8-1, the voters have fully embraced the fighting Irish. Maybe they were swayed by the College Football Playoff Selection Committee, which had them at number three last week. Next, at number seven Miami. He check, just right. Number four Clemson, 8-1, the last two Tigers opponents with quality quarterbacks have found some holes in an inexperienced secondary. Next, versus Florida State. He check, just right. Number 5 Oklahoma, 8-1, a second straight monster Big 12 game for the Sooners. Can Baker Mayfield and the offense keep bailing out that defense? Next, versus. Number 8 TCU. He check, just right. Number 6 Wisconsin, 9-0, it wasn't anything the Badgers did to make them drop a couple of spots this week. Voters rightfully reassessed the teams around them. Next, versus. Number 25 Iowa. He check, still a little too hot, though. Number 7 Miami, 8-0, you wanted a dominate performance from the Hurricanes and they did, just that against Virginia Tech. Next, versus. Number 3 Notre Dame. He check, too cold. Number 8 TCU, 8-1, led by linebacker Travin Howard, the Horned Frogs have allowed a total of 20 points in the last four games. Next, at number 5 Oklahoma. He check, too cold. Number 9 Washington, 8-1, good defensive teams tend to get a lot of respect from voters. 
the Huskies have the number one defense in the country and maybe aren't getting quite the credit they deserve. Next, at Stanford, Friday. He check too cold. Number 10 Auburn, 7-2, the Tigers could shake up the sect and playoff race over the next three weeks. Or end up the best four-loss team in the country. Next, versus. Number 2 Georgia. He check just right. Number 11 Ohio State, 7-2. Nothing about the Buckeyes allowing 55 points to Iowa makes even a little sense. Next, versus. Number 13 Michigan State. He check, too hot. Number 12 Oklahoma State, 7-2. The Cowboys are the epitome of very good, but not quite a national championship contender. Next, at number 24 Iowa State. He check, just right. Number 13 Michigan State. 7-2, the Spartans are living on the edge, their average margin of victory in five Big Ten games is five points, and thriving. This may be D'Antonio's most impressive coaching job and that's 